Searchers at Johns Hopkins say more help is needed to trace all those cases of the coronavirus. Those people who do that are called contact tracers, and officials have said that there's a need for about 70,000 of them here in the United States. WMR 2 News Mark Roper is at Johns Hopkins in East Baltimore. So, Mark, how do people get trained to do that job? Hey, good morning, Christian. There are training courses being developed right now. In fact, one of them is at the Community College of Baltimore County. It takes about three hours and it starts on Monday. And yes, the method is called contact tracing. And if you're interested in doing this, you'll learn how to connect the dots between people who have the virus and people they've come in contact with to help stop the transmission of it. The researchers say contact tracers need to be good at talking with people. They're responsible for reaching out to COVID-19 patients, asking them to isolate and make sure they have all the resources they need. Need. Contact tracers also will talk with patients about who they've been in contact with and then follow the chain of transmission, letting people know they've been exposed and asking them to take proper precautions to stop the spread. Case identification and contact tracing really will allow us to get back to a little more sense of normalcy in the near future. So the more that we can help each other and help public health to do, uh, do this contact tracing, the better off we're all going to be in the long run with this virus. Now, researchers at Johns Hopkins say the contact tracing is not a new job, but because COVID-19 spread so quickly, they say that much more people are needed to do this. We are live in East Baltimore. Mark Roper, WMAR2 News.